My name is uh, Ambassador Gausso Touré, Ambassador of the Republic of Guinea in West Africa. Uh, I'm here in Imo State, accompanying the First Lady of the Republic of Guinea, Haja Jene Kukaba Konde, the First Lady of His Excellency Professor Alpha Konde, President of the Republic of Guinea. And uh, we arrived this morning from Abuja to visit the state as a well, but mostly the foundation built by uh, His Excellency Rosha Spanyale Okorosha, the executive governor of uh, Imo State. This foundation is Rofoka, is a Rosha's Foundation College of Africa, who is putting together children from uh, all Africa. And Guinea has five children. That is in the first court who came last year, I think nine, nine months ago. The executive governor sent the delegation to Guinea I was with this delegation, I introduced them to the foundation of First Lady of Guinea. The delegation met also some ministers and uh, the chief of staff of uh, our head of state. So for the first time, people were not, uh, they were not believing in the idea that uh, they have to send their children from Guinea to Nigeria, very far from Guinea and they don't know what was here. As I visited uh, this city and also all the infrastructure the governor was putting in place, I assure my government that uh, these people are coming to, to the city of a man who dedicated his life to empower the less privileged families in Africa. His motto is uh, touching life of people through education. We arrived this morning and uh, the First Lady of Guinea, Mrs. Conde, visited. She was warmly received at the airport. She says she's coming for to see her sister, to see the governor and uh, to stay for two to three days. But when she landed at the airport, she found that the First Lady organized a warm welcome ceremony. And that was followed by uh, the reception at the foundation, where we see the children who visibly are improving. Physically, they are improving. And by the sketch, the drama they showed to us, we see some of them who come from French-speaking country expressing themselves in English. Millions of African children are not going to school due to poverty. Instead of better future through education, these children engage in street trading. For this reason, I established the Rochas Foundation to provide qualitative comprehensive and free education to all the less privileged children across Africa, regardless of class, tribe and religion. And uh, we visited also the classroom, we visited the laboratory for physics and uh, chemistry and other, uh, like the dormitory of the, uh, the, the, the children. <laughs> We saw that everything is put in place by uh, the foundation, by uh, His Excellency Okorosha and his family because I'm talking about entire family. The father gave his legacy already to all his family. 
I was here in December, I attended to the 20th anniversary of the foundation, so I can witness that all the family is involved. And big part of Imo State is involved in the humanitarian action of His Excellency Okorosha. So what I can say on behalf of uh, the First Lady, as she expressed herself, she was very, very uh, emotional when she see the people who receive her at the airport. When she came and uh, she see the children from Guinea, these are my children. Seraphine Keta. Apply to me. Apply <laughs> That's the band of Silla also. Yes, the teacher. That's the Dumbuya Kielo professor. And the other one from the all African country who are here. So I can say that uh, we are happy and uh, we are completely satisfied. We will be with Governor Okorosha to make this project growing for all Africa. It's a dream, but this dream is uh, becoming a reality. Through education, we are going to empower our new generation. As we said, people who are going to school here can be tomorrow head of state in Africa. This day is a welcome call, it's a clear call on all government officials and all those in power and all those in authority and those who have been given privilege of life of wealth should help those who do not have. I do, I do not know, know the economic, economic problem, problem will suffer today, or the, the HIV or the cancer, or the cancer will go through today, or the Ebola of yesterday. I, I do not know who will find solution. It might be that rejected, dejected child in the village whose parents are no longer alive might be the solution to the world's problem. Let every child be given a chance to go to school, for we may not know who will be the savior of this world. There can be senators, there can be ministers, because there will be very, very educated to, to drive our continent for a better future. You know, I, the first time the delegation was sent in some countries. So I think the first group is about uh, 10 countries. But what I can say is to encourage other countries to send the children here to fulfill the dream of uh, His Excellency Okorosha because we want to build College of Africa. I say in my country that that is the first project of its kind, putting African children from all African countries together to make them one group. That is the base of Pan-Africanism, as it was dreamed by our first leaders who lead our country to the independence. If you talk about Kwame Nkrumah, you talk about uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser, you talk about Sekoture from Guinea, you talk about uh, Julius Nyerere, you talk about Abib Bourguiba in Tunisia, all these, they were here to create our uh, continent, our unity. So if uh, after almost 50 years, there is another African who want to put all African children together. What I can say to other countries is to send the children and to fill this school. The houses are big, the laboratories are here, the dormitories are here, and uh, they can receive the second cohort of uh, children who will be put in the good environment to study and to get better education. Is that I can say about uh, the sending of the children from other African countries. Thank you very much.